Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be attempting a 1920s hairstyle. Um, I have very long hair and every time I've tried to do 1920s hairstyles, um, cause there was a few, I knew there was girls that didn't cut their hair really short. Um, but the only ones that I could find were girls that had about mid-length hair. Um, and they would twist their hair in like a figure eight, pull it to the front, and pin it all around. Um, my hair is too long to do that. If I tried to do a figure eight like they did, let's just kind of try that real quick. So, they would twist their hair like this, and then they would loop it like this you know, around. Obviously, they'd make this part look more curly. Um, but then I still have quite a bit of length, and once I add both sides, it's too bulky, and it just doesn't really look right. Um, so I've been digging a lot, because I'm currently doing a, um, cooking show through the decades. Started, I started in the year 1900, um, and I am going decade by dec decade, and in April is going to be the 1920s. Um, so I've been looking, so I'm really trying to, though it's not completely historically accurate, try to at least emulate that decade as much as possible by using dishes from that time period, clothes slightly reminiscent of that as much as I can um, without going out and buying new clothes for it, um, and trying to do hairstyles that kind of remind you of that time period. Um, so this one, I really wanted to do a 1920s inspired hairstyle, but I cannot find any hairstyles like that. Well, I kept digging, looking on Pinterest mostly, um, and I found these photos, um, and I will share some of those here, of this, I think it was a wife of a director from the 1920s, and she had really long hair, um, and she would do these braided buns that I'm going to try to do today, um, and when I found those, I started looking more. I found lots of photos of girls wearing this hairstyle in the 1920s, sometimes with a turban over it, sometimes just with a headband, and sometimes just on its own. Um, sometimes the hair would be pulled back straight like this into the braid bun, and other times it would be like curled slightly. Um, I didn't want to bother going to the work of curling my hair. Um, cause it's a lot and it doesn't really hold a curl. So I decided I'm going to go with a more sleek look. And I may try to do the turban style with some of the scarves that I have. Um, I'm not sure cause it was a very different turban style, very sleek, tighter style. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to achieve that look, but I may try that. I'm not sure. Um, anyway. Oh, and the other way I would also see them doing it in the 1920s was I saw several girls. One of the, I first saw this, an actress had done this. Um, and then I've seen it since then, where the girls would cut the front two-thirds of their hair short in a bob so that they could curl that section, but they'd have really long hair in the back. And then they could use that long hair in the back to do a braided crown or to make their So they could kind of make their hair look short or they could make it look long. I don't really want to do that, though. So that's why we're going to be trying this hairstyle. Um, I have my hair parted down the middle. It is a bit wavy because I put it in braids. Um... But, oh, and another reason why I didn't want to curl it is my hair is really thick and I think it would get really fluffy and poofy and make larger braids, which with how long of hair I have, I think that would make it too big. Um, but let's just start. I've already brushed my hair. Um, and I'm just going to try to smooth it back. I want to start kind of in the middle and then I'm going to... Start the braid about right here. So instead of down here, I'm gonna start it up higher. I'm going to just make a regular braid. So on this side, I'm just gonna do the same thing, but I decided to, to divide my hair first to try to get it a little bit more even, because last time I didn't get it as even. So 
So I have both of these braids. I've braided them as far as I can. So I'm just going to start spiraling it, keeping the braid to where you can see the flat of the braid, I guess. I don't know. And I'll start pinning once I'm about halfway, I think. May have made these a little bit too high. So I think I'm going to change this a little bit. Give it a bit looser. Maybe. So now it's a bit hollow. I think I'm going to do that. Because it looks more so the same. So there's a space in here. Maybe about two inches wide. And then I'll start pinning the braid down. Okay, so when I came to the end, I just kind of tucked it inside. This link donut ring and I'll pin that down so now that I'm looking again actually it was covering the ears all the way so I'll have to redo this Well, maybe that'll work. Let's see. This is reminding me of some kind of peasant style, I don't know. Also, it feels so weird to have hair covering my ear. It's really hard to pin this well enough when it's literally covering your entire ear and you cannot just pin it for like this much. <sighs> okay, how to get the side to match. Okay, this is reminding me of Princess Leia now. So I have like these little corkscrew things. I'll put one of those in because I think that'll really help hold it. Okay, that feels more secure. Put one on the other side too. Okay, so. I think this stuff from the main style, and then I'll see if I have any scarves to try. So, I looked at all my scarves, apparently none of them um, are the right size or anything, and a lot of the turbans were sewn. So, I do have this scarf. Um, and in one of the pictures, um, the girl who was an actress actually, and she was the wife of a director, um, she was wearing a scarf, kind of, you could still see her middle parting, but she had it like across like this, and then tied in the back. You could see it going across her braided buns. So, we will try that real quick. With this scarf, it's not my favorite look, but I thought we would try it just to show what it looks like. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and maybe subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!